हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज भरत आहूजा टुडे वी हैव अ स्पेशल गेस्ट विद अस हु इज गोइंग टू टेल अस सम हिडन फीचर्स अबाउट द टेस्ला मॉडल वाई द न्यू कार दैट टेस्ला हैज लॉन्च नाउ इफ यू गो टू देयर वेबसाइट नॉट ऑल डिटेल्स आर क्लियरली डॉक्यूमेंटेड we went through the website we did all the research and we have a bunch of questions that were not available on the website so we got the special guest here who is going to tell us the answers to those questions so let's get into the interview so let's begin and without wasting further time let me start shooting questions at you so my first question is uh, tesla claims that yes it has wireless charging but it doesn't really clearly say if it has or it doesn't have yes tesla model y does have wireless charging and you can charge two devices at the same time the panel is on the right of the driver and it has two spots to recharge two phone wireless at the same time okay it has two wireless chargers okay next question is when tesla says that you have 360 degree camera view right it doesn't say how many cameras does it have so exactly how many cameras does this tesla car does this model y have to cover 360 degree of a view for the entire car tesla model y has eight cameras which are installed on the doors on the front and on the back eight cameras talking about the weather conditions these days you have rain sometimes it's not that heavy rain sometimes it's light so does this car the tesla model y have auto wiper speed where it can sense it has a rain sensor or something of that sort which would control the wiper speed automatically yes tesla model y does have a rain sensor where it would sense how much of rain is it and it would automatically adjust the wiper speed to clean the glass i think it also has a sensor on the speed of the car versus the speed of the rain and accordingly it moves the wipers that's what i read yes it has okay okay now my next question is on the parking and lane assist when i have seen other cars and their advertisements i was going through tesla model y uh, website details it doesn't clearly say anywhere it has lane assist or parking assist so does it have a parking assist and or lane assist i think you viewers know a parking assist is when you're parking your car the car will guide you in certain way right by controlling the steering by changing the wheels uh direction something of beeping all any kind of parking assist and lane assist is something where your car when it goes out of the lane without the indicator the car will itself bring itself in the lane so that's lane assist yes sir The Tesla Model Y does not have a parking assist. Yes, it does have a lane assist. Okay. But when you talk about autopilot, it will automatically go and park your car. So in a way, yes, it does have its own parking assist. But when you talk about that parking assist thing, no, it doesn't have. Okay. Now, uh, most of the cars have this cruise control where you set a speed to 65 miles or 100 kilometers per hour, and then. it auto accelerates on that speed it auto drives but certain new cars have this adaptive cruise control where it will increase the speed and decrease the speed of the car based on the car or vehicle ahead of it so for example if you're driving at 100 km per hour or 65 miles per hour on a highway when there's a sudden stop or the car ahead of you drops the speed to 40 so the car if it is on adaptive cruise it will drop the speed back to 40 and then it will exceed to whatever speed it was set to so that's adaptive cruise so does this car tesla model y have adaptive cruise control yes tesla model y does have adaptive cruise control which means if you are driving your car and you set your cruise control to 65 miles or 100 km per hour and if it senses that the car in front of it or the car ahead of it has completely stopped for some reason your car will come to a complete stop and then it will speed up back to 100 km per hour or 65 miles per hour whatever your speed were on so yes the tesla model y does have adaptive cruise control with a complete stop and go so these days many cars are coming with a touchless tailgate where you wave your feet under the car's hood and it opens the tailgate without even touching so if you're carrying a lot of luggage you can just go uh, wave your feet under the car and the tailgate opens you load the luggage it will sense if you the keys are nearby you and all of those technologies so does tesla model y have the touchless tailgate 
well no and yes tesla model y does not have a touchless tailgate which means if you move your feet under the car it will not open the car but you have an app app does have a uh, button and if you uh, do it from your app you can open the tailgate with your app so touchless tailgate directly with moving your feet under the car no but with the app yes okay so you can control it with the app but not with that touchless concept what you're saying so tesla i think that is something to work on all you need is a sensor under the car where the users can customers can wave their feet and the tailgate should open so my next question is on the smartness of the car now these days where we have the smart home devices with google home alexa device or amazon alexa or uh, apple home so does this car tesla model y have any built-in uh, google alexa or apple home built in the car or the remote where you can give a command and it will turn on or, or off the devices at your home no tesla model y does not have a built-in alexa google or apple home assist or smart home apps or any of those kind but it does have its own tesla voice which is proprietary to tesla where you can give voice commands to the car and it works that way but to answer your question no it does not have any built-in google home or apple home or alexa home or any kind of those apps okay so it does have a built-in voice control proprietary to tesla but it doesn't have any integration with amazon or google or apple to have their smart home controls integrated in this car so Tesla that's another thing you might want to think and shake hand with other brands. My next question is on the power adjusted steering wheels. So when you are controlling a car, when you're driving a car, right? Many times you feel that the steering wheel is at not at the proper level. Now many cars have this manual lever where you pull the lever, adjust it and push the lever back. So does this car have any kind of lever? or smart control buttons where you can touch and control and it would smartly adjust the steering wheel well if you're talking about a button which would adjust the steering wheel under the power steering no it does not have that but you do have the display panel the on screen from where you can adjust the power of the steering wheel and you can have it adjusted through the on screen touch so there is no dedicated button to answer that question no but on screen controls yes next question is on the window glasses so does this car have window glasses adjusted from the remote or from the app like for example you are away from the car and it's too hot or it's too cold and you want to open the windows or close the windows or something of that sort can you control the windows of this car remotely windows with remote control I mean the app to a extent yes like not like Audi Q5 that I reviewed last time the windows would come completely down here in Tesla Model Y uh, the windows can be controlled but only uh, maybe 2 inches to have a ventilation in the car but when you talk about pulling the windows down from your app completely or bringing them up no that's not there but you can still have that 2 inch of window to have your car ventilated and that you can control through the app if that's what answers your question okay so you can open like little bit of ventilation thing but not the whole window so my next question is on advanced feature where uh, we were reviewing this Audi Q5 and we found that they gave the customers multiple options of braking system and they can customer can choose which braking system they want so does tesla give any option in model y for the customers to choose which kind of braking system do they want well if you're asking about a choice for the buyer to have different type of braking system like air suspension disc brake etc no uh, i don't think they have any such options for the buyers to choose between different type of braking system Okay, it doesn't have any option to change the type of braking system. Uh, similarly, on the suspension system, where uh, again, Audi Q5 has air suspension and different kind of suspension options for the customers to choose from, and the prices vary for each. So, does Tesla Model Y have any kind of option for the customers to choose between which suspension system do they want? 
again uh, no they do not have any kind of choice for the buyers to choose a different type of suspension system to uh, the car comes with the standard built in suspension system and they don't have any kind of option for the buyers to choose between the suspension systems no okay so that's not there so there are no customized suspension system for the customers to go and buy or choose a different option from next question is on the apple play so does this car have apple car play or android auto built in this car does it support the apple integration or android integration no tesla model y does not come with a built in apple airplay or android auto it does have bluetooth connectivity where you can connect your device play the music but if you're expecting all your apple apps to replicate in uh, tesla's on screen no it does not have apple airplay or android auto at least not in the current app update as we speak no it does not okay so tesla that's another feedback i think we customers are apple or android users and we would love to have our apps controlled from that big 15 inch screen not while driving but at times we would love to have our pictures or anything on that 15 inch screen in the car so one feedback from me <laughs> now talking about the usb ports uh, does this car tesla model y have usb port for charging or any power 12 volt power socket for a car vacuum cleaner or something you want to connect to a cigarette lighter or anything of that sort usb ports yes uh, it does have usb c port 12 volt socket yes it does have 12 volt sockets uh, there's one 12 volt socket at the back and there are two usb c port in the front and two usb c port at the back if i counted them correctly i think it also comes with the cables in the kit I'm yet to double check on that information, but yeah, that's good. I like that. And going with the technology, they're using USB-C, which is a new thing, right? So the customers have to adapt with the USB-C ports now and get the power cables upgraded if they are still using a USB-A port. Okay, my next question is on the cup holder that you get in a car. Again, I'm giving an example of another car where we have seen the cup holder at the back when you bring the middle seat down you see the cup holder and if you want to use it as an armrest they have a provision to cover the cup holder so does tesla model y have any such provision and the cup holders in the front right now usually they would have two cup holders but are these cup holders uh, heated and cold like if you're carrying a cold drink you want your cold drink to stay cold and if you're carrying a coffee does it have any provision to keep your coffee hot okay so talking about the cup holders yes it does have a cup holder in the front and the back and no the cup holder in the front is not heated doesn't neither does it heat nor does it cool the cup holder at the back yes it's there but it's not covered uh, if you are using your center seat as an armrest if you want to rest your hand the cup holder will still be there you cannot cover the cup holder by any means it would stay there if that's exactly what you're asking okay so you can either fold the armrest or pull it down but when you're keeping your arm on it the cup holders are going to touch you another point i think tesla can incorporate by changing these cup holders with giving them a hot and cold option where the customers can enjoy the coffee hot and the cold drink as cold even while driving for hours so that's something to try so next question is on the rear seat now there are three people who can sit at the back but can the rear seat fold or adjust in its own way like for example the rear seats can they move forward backward recline or go upright or any kind of adjustment is it possible yes the rear seat is adjustable to a certain extent where you can make it upright or recline but when you talk about moving it forward or backward you cannot do it yourself you have to take it to the showroom the tesla service center and they will move the seat forward or backward if needed so technically it's possible but for a, a buyer or the customer to move the seat forward or backward no that's not possible and they can only recline it or make it upright okay so recline yes and moving forward backward no unless you go to tesla and get it done and they can do it okay so tesla can do it for you i think they would charge you something for it 
but you cannot do it. Technically, it can be done, but not by the customers. And talking again about the rear seats, now there are three seats. So can each seat fold separately or like other cars where you have to fold two seats together and one seat separately? Yes, all three seats can be folded separately. So the center seat has a hook or a button which you can press and fold only the center seat. If you are carrying a load and you need two people to sit at the back, that is possible. So you can fold either of the three seats and that can work separately. They are individually foldable, they are disconnected. Okay, so if you wish, you can bring the whole middle seat down and if you're carrying some pipes or bars, you can only fold middle seat and still two people can sit in the car, which is a nice thing. Good job on that. And on the variants, uh, what kind of variants does this car have? I think I know this one. Uh, they have a long range and a performance, right? That's on their website. So long range is for people who want to save on cost and get more average of the battery and performance is for people who want to have more power where they give you bigger wheels and all those details are there on the website. So yeah, is there anything else you want to talk about the variants uh, that this Tesla Model Y offers? Uh, the car does have two variants, performance and long range, but that's already on their website. You don't have to ask me, that's very well detailed. How much miles does the performance have? The performance comes with the 20 inch wheel and the 19 inch wheel and all those details are there on the website. So yeah. We'll skip that question. Okay, my next question is on the sentry mode. Now, for those customers who don't know what a sentry mode is, uh, Tesla provides a special secure mode where you are in a place where it's uh, highly risky, where you do not want anyone to touch your car. You can enable the sentry mode on and then your car will be on a special security mode. Yes, it will eat battery. So that's my question to the expert. Uh, what do you think? Like, does this sentry mode take up some battery and how much battery does it take? Yes, that's an important question. And that's something that's not given on their Tesla's website. So the sentry mode on the car is your security system, which will use your battery. It will keep the cameras on. Like if you are in a mall or if you are in a place where you have a high risk of someone, you know, hitting the car or stealing something, you set the car to sentry mode and that uses the battery as much as you can calculate as 30 kilometers for eight hours. If you leave the sentry mode on for eight hours, that can be as equivalent as 30 kilometers of your battery use. So that's what you can measure the sentry mode use. So if you're traveling, you never want to leave your car on sentry mode. And the good part about sentry mode is it would not even work if the, your car's battery is low. If you're running on low battery, the sentry mode will not work. So that's another uh, thing to keep in mind. So yeah, the sentry mode is useful, but for a shorter period, like uh, he said, 30 kilometers of your mileage is gone if you're using it for eight hours. So you do not want to put your car on sentry mode if you are gone out for a day or two, unless your car is on charging already. But yeah, it is useful for a short period where you are going to a place where you have high risk of people touching, hitting, grabbing, breaking, damaging, anything of that sort. This is very useful. And yes, the car also has a dog mode where you can leave your car in the dog mode and leave your car inside. That screen will display that uh, the car is set to dog mode and it will use the battery, but it will keep the AC on. It will keep the car temperature moderate. So people passing by will know that yes, the dog is happy in the car and the car is taking care of the temperature inside the car. So car does have a dog mode as well. My next question is on the tow hitch. So does this car have a hitch where you can tow a container or a carriage or anything behind this car? Does it come by default? And if not, do the customers or the buyers have any option to buy it? And if they do, how much is the price while buying it with the car? And how much is the price while putting or adding the hitch Later, if they decide that they want to have a hitch in the car, can they come back and get it uh, installed and how much will that cost to the customers? Yeah, that's on their website again. But uh, something to note is when you buy the car and if you get the torque hitch, which has a capacity of, I think, 1600 kgs. So if you get that while you're buying the car, you pay only 1300. But if you go back later to Tesla to get 
a torque hitch installed on your Tesla Model Y, they'll charge you $1,650 here in Ontario, Canada. So that's something to note. If you want a torque hitch, get it when you're buying the car and not later. Otherwise, you'll end up paying $350 more. Okay, 1600 kg is a good power. And okay, so there's a price difference when you get the hitch installed along with buying or getting it installed later in your life if you decide that you want a hitch to carry your bikes or boat or anything with behind your car so that's the hitch okay next question is over the air updates now tesla talks about over the air updates. so how technically it works like does it connect to the satellite directly from the car while you're driving will it use the battery uh it doesn't say anything on their website like how exactly over the air is it going to update or install an update. You have to park the car, you have to stop the car, you have to leave the car on, you have to put the car on charging. It doesn't say anything about that. So how exactly does this over the air update works? The nation wants to know. Yes, the Tesla does provide over the air update for their Model Y. But when they talk about over the air, you need internet connection. You need some kind of Wi-Fi connectivity for your car to connect to the internet. And only then it would connect to the internet, connect to their server, download the updates and install it just like any Windows or computer operating system. And it's not over the air as it says. So that's something to note. You need to have the internet connectivity wherever you are parking your car so that the car can connect to the internet through a Wi-Fi and download the updates whenever they are available. So talking about the remote control that comes with the car, as we have seen, uh, they only give a card, a ATM card or a debit card style card is what you get with the car. So you bring the card close to the car and you can turn on the car, open the door, unlock it. And if you don't have the card, then you can use your app, which will be paired initially with the car and then you can control things from your app. So my question to you is what all can I do from the app? Can I can start my car? Can I open the tailgate? Can I adjust the windows? Can I what else can I do? Yes, uh, it has many features. I'm not going to cover most of them. But the basic things that you are asking is yes, it can control the tailgate from the remote control or the app. The app does support location tracking if your car is somewhere around and you're not able to locate additionally you can open the tailgate you can start the car there are many other things you can do with the app like if in case you're not able to find your key card you can start the car with your app so that's one additional benefit they have okay and you can also locate your car from the app if you have parked it somewhere in the mall and you don't know you know if the parking space is huge that's a good benefit i have to use my google maps to pin the location when I leave the car and then come back and find the pin and that's a hassle. And talking about the car seat, now as the car seat for the kids, how many car seats can this car fit at the back? For the kids, yes. So at the back you can accommodate three people but the person sitting in the center will not get enough room as much as the other two get. If you're installing a car seat, you can only have two car seats together. You cannot have three car seats in this car. So that's an important point to note. Okay, so this car can fit two car seats at the back. It does have three seats, but it doesn't have enough hooks to connect three car seats together at the same time. So you can either have one on the left or on the right. You cannot have third car seat in between because it doesn't have hooks to install unless you put the hooks over each other, which I don't think is recommended. But yeah, it doesn't have three car seat option is what we learned. Okay, so that was the insider information. Disclaimer, just uh, general information. It's not from Tesla. It's not a copyright or it's available online, but it's not there on the Tesla's official Model Y page. We have collected this information from different sources. So if you like this video, if you think this was useful and you think that this can be useful to you or anyone else please let us know please share this video subscribe to our channel for more videos related to cars we are going to talk a lot about cars on this channel so stay tuned and see you again in some other video till then take care goodbye